Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This video, we're breaking down the best sonar units around that $800 price point. And this price point, you're definitely gonna get a little more for your dollar. Uh, these units are compatible with trolling motors, compatible with forward-looking transducers. So let's break down what I would demand if I'm spending $800 on a sonar unit. So for $800, these units should have 2D traditional sonar, should have some sort of down imaging, preferably megahertz frequency down imaging. Uh, side imaging, again, that megahertz frequency, sometimes called mega imaging, ultra HD imaging, or uh, HDS live, which is the live imaging is what Lawrence calls it. It should have that. Um, it should have a built-in mapping system. It should also have an SD card slot to accept either more maps or be able to update to newer maps. Um, these Garmin units use Wi-Fi directly from my phone via the Active Captain app so I can up update the Navionics maps on these units. These units should be compatible with the trolling motor. You should be able to press a waypoint, tell it where to go. Um, these units should also be able to talk to each other, whether it's wirelessly or whether you have to run an HDMI cord between the units. Preferably, they would be touchscreen as well, but that, that's probably just a bonus feature. I would also demand that these units have some sort of auto chart feature where you can drive over a lake, river, pond, something that you haven't charted before and it doesn't have a contour system and you can build your own uh, chart system. But let's break down what I think is number one bang for your buck for 800 bucks. So I filmed this video a couple of months ago, as you can tell in the background, a lot of green back there. But I wanted to mention a few Black Friday sale items that I think will work great for a lot of you. Right now, there's a sale going on on these Echomap 93 SVs, what you see on the bow of my boat. This is the exact units I have on the bow of my boat right now. Um, the 93 SVs with the GT54 transducer, this is exactly what I run at the dash as well and they got it on sale for $699.99. Um, save yourself 400 bucks right there. So by far number one item for under 800 bucks is going to be this 93 SV uh, because it is on sale. And I didn't really mention it in the original filming of this video because obviously the original price is over $1,000. So, But this is a an awesome unit. Highly recommend picking this unit up if you are in the market and you're looking for something under that $800 price range. Click the link in the video description, uh, but let's get into the actual number one without any deals going on. So for number one on this list, I would have to say the Garmin 7.3 SV UHD is the best unit for this price point. This unit comes with a GT56 transducer, which is the UHD transducer. It comes with 1.12 megahertz frequency for both their down view and their side view giving that crisp clear picture um, it, it is touchscreen seven inch touchscreen it's compatible with a garmin force trolling motor wirelessly um, these units right now are hooked up to that via wirelessly you can update any of the mapping systems or any updates via the active captain app through your phone uh, super simple to do uh, but overall, this unit has all the bells and whistles for a 7-inch screen. It's a touch screen, and for under 800 bucks, in my opinion, it is the best bang for your buck. It is also compatible with a live scope system. I do wish this was a 9-inch screen, but for under 800 bucks, I'm not going to complain that it's only a 7-inch screen. The one thing I will say that separates this out from the next unit I'm going to talk about is it is only compatible with Navionics mapping systems. Now, Navionics makes some great mapping systems uh, for, for all over the country. doesn't matter where you are. Uh, but the next unit that I'm going to talk about, which is the Humminbird Helix 7 Mega Side Imaging G3N, actually accepts both Navionics and a Lake Masters car. So the second one I want to talk about is the Humminbird Helix 7 Mega Side Imaging G3N. Again, another mouthful. Uh, but basically, this has your mega side imaging, your mega down imaging, your 2D traditional sonar with chirp frequencies. Has a built-in Humminbird Lake Masters mapping system to it. Comes with a SD card slot that you can update either Lake Masters chips or Navionics chips uh, through buying a new mapping system. The Humminbird Helix 7 is compatible with other Humminbird Helix units in its class. You can connect it. Uh, with a Humminbird cable that they have. It is also a connectable to your Minn Kota trolling motor. You gotta make sure it's the G3N. The N stands for the navigable network system um, that connects to the Minn Kota trolling motors. So this unit for under 800 bucks is a super solid unit. Again, Humminbird 
in my opinion, is definitely geared to towards people that want to manipulate the screen to get the best image that they can. So the Humminbird Helix 7 also has the auto chart live feature, which allows you to create your own mapping system if you're on a body of water that doesn't have a contour built into your map. Um, again, what basically separates the Garmin series from the Humminbird series is the Humminbird can take both Navionics and Lake Master charts, but it's not a touchscreen like the Garmin is. Uh, again, that's just an extra bell and whistle for the Garmin. But if you don't travel a lot, like if you stick to pretty much one geographic location where you fish, the Garmin series with the Navionics, it's a great unit. Navionics makes great charts. If you travel a lot, some places, like I travel from Wisconsin to Texas, up north, Lake Masters tends to do a little bit better on certain bodies of water. When I go to the Mid-South, Navionics is pretty widely, widely acceptable. Navionics does a great job of charting out those creek channels where I find those big crappie in the fall. Um, so if you stick to one geographic location, I wouldn't worry so much about the dual acceptability of mapping systems. Um, I would primarily look at, we're getting into a price point here where we're probably going to build out a boat. So what's the trolling motor that you're going to have? Are you planning on using a forward-looking transducer? The Humminbird Helix 7 is also compatible with the Mega Live, um, as long as you get a newer generation Helix 7. Um, so they're compatible with your forward-looking sonar, they're compatible with your uh, trolling motor. So now we got to think about, okay, what trolling motor, what sonar unit am I thinking about buying in the future. That's kind of the price point that we're starting to get into. Um, so those are two really great options. And again, the only reason I think Garmin's number one on this is because I use Garmin. <laughs> I'm biased. I'm a little biased with the Garmin. Humminbird makes a great product, don't get me wrong. And you'll be able to find fish with the, the Humminbird unit. Um, but touchscreen technology, easily built-in Wi-Fi connectability. The Humminbird, you still have to connect the cable to the Minn Kota's. So, Either way, I don't think you can go wrong. They're about the same price point. It just comes down to what are you putting on your boat? Are you gonna put a Garmin trolling motor on your boat? Are you gonna put a Minn Kota on your boat? Um, are you gonna put a forward-looking transducer on your boat? Is it gonna be Humminbird? Is it gonna be Garmin uh, for their live scope or their Humminbird's mega live system? So those are the questions you have to ask yourself between those two units. Phenomenal units, both of them, um, and I highly recommend both of them. Me personally, I just run Garmin's. The third unit and the third option um, kind of missed in this price point. Uh, that's the Laurent Elite FS series. Uh, this comes around, I think it's a little more than 800 bucks. It could be a little less. Great unit, but I would expect it to have a little bit better tech. So the Laurent, the Laurent Elite FS series does have uh, chirp capability for its 2D sonar, but it does not have uh, any type of mega imaging for its down scan or side scan technology. Has the same tech that you would get from the Lowrance Hook Reveal series, uh, which is 455 and 800 kilohertz for their down scan and side scan tech. So not quite as crisp of an image as the Garmin or the Humminbird units that I was talking about, but still a solid unit. It does come with a built-in CMAP system that Lowrance has, which I've heard is phenomenal. I've never seen it in person, but I've seen videos of it. Uh, quality built contours on lakes and rivers does come with an SD card slot so you can update to both a newer CMAP system or a Navionics system. Lowrance does accept dual their CMAP and their Navionics kind of like Humminbird has the Lake Masters and Navionics. Garmin is the only unit that just accepts Navionics so um, pretty cool with, for the Lowrance to accept dual mapping cards. Again you can build out your own a chart if a lake or river or pond that you're on does not have a contour already built out you can use your Lowrance system to idle over and build out your own uh, contours for that lake or river it is wi-fi compatible and so i'm going to assume that it can connect to the Lowrance ghost which is the newest trolling motor that Lowrance came out with and i've also heard that it can connect to the motor guide but you might want to double check on that one um, I know for a long time Lowrance and Motor Guide have been able to connect. I don't know if it's via Wi-Fi or if you have to buy a separate cable, um, but it's cool that it can connect to two different trolling motors. That's all a bonus in my book. So this Lowrance Elite FS series is compatible with Lowrance's forward-looking sonar. At least that's what it shows on the Lowrance website. Um, so I think it's Live Sight and Active Target are the two forward-looking sonars that Lowrance puts out. Um, you can go to the Lowrance website to check out more details for that. So it's compatible with trolling motors, compatible with forward-looking sonar, just the same as the Garmin and the Humminbird series. Um, the only difference and the reason I put it at last on the list, it is not 
uh, mega imaging uh, compatible with their transducer. You kind of got to step up to the HDS Live series if you want to get in the same class of transducer as the Garmin or the Humminbird units that I mentioned. And to step up to that class of, of unit, I think it's like 1100 bucks. So different video, but uh, for 800 bucks, it's solid unit. And if you are a fan of Lowrance, you know, check it out. But my personal recommendations, Garmin or Humminbird, uh, depending on how you want to build your boat out. Again, we're stepping into that marketplace of what trolling motor do I want? Do I want some sort of uh, forward-looking sonar? And do I want other units on my boat that, to be able to talk to each other? So you got to start thinking about that when you get into the price point of about 800 bucks or, or higher. But those are my two recommendations. And then the third option is the Laurent Elite 7 FS series. If you are a fan of Laurent, check it out. So those are my recommendations for $800. If you have any recommendations for a different price point or you want me to talk about a very specific unit, let me know in the comments section below if you got a comment or question about anything buying new fish finders, uh, maybe transducers, trolling motors, whatever. You can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. I'm actually gonna pull the trolling motor up and run downstream and try to catch them for crappie today. So appreciate you watching as always. We'll see you.